mushroom. So these are the fly agarics. These guys are the indicator species for porcini. So basically when you see these, the porcinis are out. Nice smile. This is a porcini. We're out hunting in Westford, Mass. It's October 8th, I think. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Find bluets pop up wherever you threw glass clippings and mulch. The mix of grass clippings and mulch seems to attract them. They do like to cling to pine needles as well as old maple leaves. So these are a couple of types of substrate and they grow directly out of the substrate itself. Uh, they don't attach themselves to the base of trees basically. They are growing in mulch and forest duff predominantly. You can see their uh, pale lavender um, turning to buff colors on the top of the cap. They look like they're made of clay. That's one of the things that I use to ID bluets. And they, when you break them open, they smell like frozen orange juice or orange juice of a weird sort. See, we've got the bordered palomas, scorchinis, Bacterias and bluets, and some hen of the woods up top. Oh. 